the audacity. A cop who tased Jim Rogers to death wants his job back. Let me remind you, here it is. Call it or not. No, no, that's it. Excuse me. Uh oh, okay. Oh, yes, that's not what did I say? Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, Okay, sir. Okay, I'm listening to you. I'm listening to you. I'm listening to you. Step it up, 531. It's males. I'm listening to you. I'm listening to you. Step it up with a. Put your hands on your back. Where are you going to get tamed? I'm listening to you, sir. Now. 3533. I'm listening to you. I'm listening to you, sir. I'm not going to tell you. Put your hands on your back. You want to get tamed. Now. I'm listening to you. Do it now. Ma'am, mind your business. Doing, I'm not Stop doing it. anything. I'm not doing anything. Ma'am, I'm not doing anything now. Sir, okay. you're about to get tased. <laughs> I'm right, not doing anything. Let me see your hands. Let me see your hands. I'm sorry. Put your hands behind your back. Now. Now. I can stop right here. I didn't do it. Put your hands behind your back. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Put your hands behind your back. 3531. 3531. Okay, okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm hitting it again. Put your hands on the plane. Copy says you deployed at 1032. 3582, copy. Okay. Well done. Sir. Yeah, Eddie, I'm in roof base. Okay. Step it up. This mail is not confined. Step it up. This mail is not confined. I'm going to give you the update to this story and this saga. Put up the cop full mass here. We brought you this last year, a police officer involved in the killing of a Pittsburgh homeless man, fighting for his life, fighting for his job back now. Um, the officer in the video, his name is Keith Edmonds. Keith Edmonds would like to now get his job back through the police union arbitration process. Of the five involved officers in the incident, Three have had their jobs reinstated. According to the root, Jim Rogers, who was a suspect in the theft of a bicycle, died in custody of Pittsburgh Bureau of Police on October 13th. According to CNN's report, police said they used a tase on Rogers because he was not complying with their orders. Roger was tased 10 times, resulting in him being taken to Mercy Hospital where he died. Lee Schmidt. Pittsburgh Public Safety Director at the time declined to identify the officers, but sources told WPXI that Keith Edmonds, who tased Jim Rogers 10 times, and officers Pat DeSaro and Greg Boss, who took Rogers to the hospital, were among those initially fired. Why? Why were they fired? Because what they did was a violation of their policies and procedures for the department. So they got fired. So Roger's family was awarded a historic $8 million because the cops violated policy. They got $8 million in a settlement with the city. Pittsburgh Chief of Police Larry Scarato, nor Pittsburgh Mayor Ed Ganey have any additional comments since the incident. So what do you have? You have multiple police officers who engage in both procedural and some would say obviously criminal conduct. A man dies because they violated the rules that they were trained in order to save and help people sustain life. They violated those rules, a man dies. They get fired. Taxpayers got to pay a bunch of money called defunding the police. But it's by way of the police. The audacity of this person coming back and saying, and now I want my job back. Even though it has been concluded by the brass that their actions and violations killed an entire human being that should be alive. Taxpayers are out $8 million because of their violations. He wants his job back. This is the part, dear brother, that makes people not like the police. Mm. Because there is no other job on this planet 
where you can violate the rules, kill somebody, and get your job back after the company has to pay out millions because of your neglect or your insane violation and approach. What say you? Well, and what I mean, you think about what he must think of himself so highly that never mind, I don't think he should get his job back as a police officer anywhere. But this guy has the audacity. Not only does he want to be a police officer again, he wants to be a police officer again in Pittsburgh. That's like rubbing right. salt in the wound of the citizens there. This guy should be part of some sort of no police list. We should have a federal list of cops who do bad things, who violate policies, who get fired for good reasons. They should not be able to get back a job in law enforcement. But all too often, I think we find that people feel like this is the only thing they can do. He can only do this, not because of the money, not because he can't do something else, but because he loves the power. He loves the authority that he has with a badge and a gun and the ability to take people's lives. I mean, there's something psychopathic about this. Yeah, it really is. It really is. We'll give you an update as it develops.